Okay, let's talk about three timing. Okay, and we have seven timings in Akban, and today we'll learn the simple ones. Okay, one, two, three. First timing is before any action happens. Okay, so we have a lot of exemplary katas that deal exactly with this timing. Like this one. Bam, bam. Okay. He did not do anything, and I attack him. In Takagi, there are many katas like this. Okay, and I return, and he did not do anything. I made the move in advance. Of course, it is not easy, it is not legal. Okay, but this is a kata. This is our tradition. So let's do the first timing using kicks. Okay, two kicks: right leg, and then left leg. Okay, so we can just use the opponent's right hand here. So I break his knee, and with the other leg, kick his face. So we've got this break. So it's a good street technique. Again, not legal. You break, you bends a little bit, you knock him out. Okay. Second timing is after. If we had timing before, now the second timing is easy after the attack. So the opponent initiates any attack that he wants. Okay, let's, let's just deal with the tsuki, even though it works against everything. Opponent attacks with the tsuki, okay? And I attack back. Okay, let's just check the step. So, because it's an even ground, when I jump back, I feel with the back foot, okay? I feel the ground. If it would be a rocky terrain, then I would feel like this and jump from above. So it's the first principle of going backwards where I do not see. And the other thing is sometimes I let my hand feel what happens. So he attacks one and two. So this is the second timing again. Okay, to attack before, or if he does a tsuki step, to attack after, okay? Right now what I do is I attack, I just wait for him, and I attack at the same time, simultaneously. So this is the third timing. Okay, I stand, just, just use, we're using this kick, but most of the time a simpler kick will be much better. So I stand here and push kick him which is good against berserkers. They enter the range without paying attention, thinking about their hands, okay? And I just use the range of, of the front kick. But this is a good drill also, okay? First timing is before. So even if I suspect, okay, a knife, or if he holds it with this stance, okay? Which is, or, or in front. So what I do, I initiate everything. So f first of all, I try to knock him out and take control of the hand. Okay, so this is, only this merits a, a full lesson because it's such a complicated thing to do. Catch the hand and attack at the same time. So we, we're just gonna train on it, okay? Now I have, because I want to take control of the hand, and do something after, okay? This is a henka of Fudoryu. I take the leg that's at the same side of the attack backward. Okay, so here. And I kick and I do an Oguruma. Again. So this is a Fudoryu kata. Let me say at the beginning, every technique against a knife is an extremely problematic one. We're just using the knife to learn timing. When we tried working against demi knives or uh, painted knives, we always get stabbed. If you're working against a mediocre plus opponent, he will stab. He will not let you do anything. He's ready and the knife does not have any uh, off range, okay, because if he holds the swords uh, and cut, then 
sometimes this range is safe, and of course the outside the range. But against the knife, the only range that is safe is way outside. How much way outside? It's the Tuller distance. It's about, this is one meter. So this one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the Tuller distance, okay? I don't know how it is in feet. 12, 15 feet. And the Tuller distance means that if in real situation I have a gun and it's holstered and the opponent has a knife, by the time I take out the gun, load it, okay, and stand ready to shoot, he will stab me. Less than six meters, he will stab me. So let's be realistic about it. These techniques are just about timing and luck. Sometimes luck is okay. So I got bam and kick and, but this is no luck. It's because he's a good veteran and he let me do it. Okay, if it was a real situation, I would be stabbed when I get near because he doesn't have to do a lot. He just does this and I'm stabbed. Okay, so the, and, and this kuna is sharp. So please be careful with it. Urashto to the throat, grab, kick, do teki otoshi. <coughs> Several times. Okay, so before, first timing. Now for the second timing, we see a kata that most of us know, it's Henka of Santo no Kata of Gyokuryu. Uh, it looks good, but it's the same shit, like the one we did before. O almost impossible against someone who does, who really want to cut or to stab. But we know it, so it looks good, okay? But not more. Shlomi, what did Koroti? Okay. She's anti. Now this, the first thing I can do, if he tries to stab me, one evasion movement is good. But the problem is that he gets near very fast, and if I cannot catch his hand, then I'm done. And catching the hand for someone who really knows how to cut is close to impossible. Okay, but this, this is a good kata to train on the second timing, which means move, bam! Okay. And I hold the hand with the knife when I do a motegyaku away from my face. In case I did not manage to, okay, to unload the knife, so it wouldn't be near my neck. And just move it here. Now, some parts of the kata are not fantastic. If I managed to catch his hand, this is a good, good technique, okay? Because he'll throw the knife. Just punching or with a shikanken. Let's do it several times. Second timing. Evade, get in. בזהירות, אני לא מפיל כזה חזק בגלל כל החורים כאן. So again, why use, why use a knife to learn timing? First of all, because it is so clear. But then again, let's not fantasize about working empty end against a knife. If someone would draw a knife, God forbid, against me, I would immediately use one of the self-defense principles we have. Okay, uh, a chair, anything that is a, a block between me and the knife, okay? Because each open stretch between me and the knife wielder is dangerous, okay? Third timing, maybe this is the only one that might work, but it is very dangerous, okay? Demands a lot of courage, which is simultaneously. So we had before, 
after the attack and now simultaneously. So I wait for an attack. I don't know if, if we can do it against a stab. We can do it only against a very wide and clear slash or a stab. Okay, again, Shizentai or Hiranokamai. So this is, this is the crux. Just get in and knock him out. And afterwards, we can do a lot of nice things, but it does not matter. If we did the crux correctly, everything is cool. Again. I get in fast, lock, and then I slowly lower him to the ground. Okay, and I remember a black belt test in Jerusalem when somebody on this drill guy got stabbed with a real knife. But maybe this is the only realistic technique. One, one last time. 